America's progress in battling this country's weight problem has been too slow, and more needs to be done now to save lives. That's the finding of a national report released today. Americans are eating more and moving less, and it's showing in the growing girth of our nation. Department of Health statistics show the percentage of obese adults in Hawaii has increased from 16.8% in 2002 to 23% in 2010. While we don't have as many obese people as other states on the mainland, we're only at 23% among adults. We have some very disproportionately affected populations, like the Native Hawaiians, where it's more like 45%, and Pacific Islanders, it's more like 56% of the population are obese. And the weight issues begin young. One in three kindergartners here are overweight when they enter school. A national report from the Institute of Medicine says the problem will require a comprehensive set of solutions to make change. They include getting kids to move by requiring at least 60 minutes of physical activity each day at school. And it doesn't necessarily have to be physically structured PE. We can talk about things like encouraging a longer recess in class, which is really important for the kids in terms of a lot of behavioral issues, um, and encouraging activities before and after safe routes to schools. Can our kids get to school back and forth on their feet or on their bikes? Is there a place to lock up their bikes? The study encourages making healthy food and beverage options readily available at competitive prices, and it also suggests that food, beverage, and media industries step up their efforts to develop ways to market healthy eating and healthy lifestyles. We all know that, that health insurance drives so much of the cost with small businesses in the state, with our state government, and also to the individual families that if we don't address this, it could really bankrupt the state. Now, if you'd like to look at the entire study, go to the As Seen On section of KITV.com for a link to it. The vice chair of the study was University of Hawaii President Marcy Greenwood, who is a recognized expert on obesity and diabetes.